Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to install Kali Linux on VMware. So first of all go to Google and type VMware and go to first link and go to downloads and from there go to workstation pro and from here you can download for your respective OS that is for Windows or for Linux and from here you can download it so I have already downloaded it and installed it so you can watch it over here so next thing is now go to the Kali Linux website so official one this is first link go to, go to here and go to downloads and download it Kali Linux 64 bit installer you can download it by torrent as well as directly from server don't download the live version or net installer version or any VMware version we only need this one so click on that and download it I have already downloaded it so I'm don't I'm not gonna download it again so after that open the VMware And create a new virtual machine select the typical that is recommended and select the ISO file where from where you downloaded it I downloaded it on downloads so select the ISO file click open and click next from here select Linux and as uh, the Linux is based on Debian version Debian Linux so click the Debian 10.x 64 bit click next and type your name whatever you want select the disk space uh, I will select it as 40 okay. and uh, select it as store virtual disk as a single file Okay. Click next. I will customize hardware. If you want to, you can do this. If you don't want, to, you have a choice. I will select RAM as 4 GB processor. Processor. Four four processor. Two processor. That's it. Okay. And then I will finish it. Okay, guys. Uh, click on the power on this virtual machine and you can maximize the screen's resolution and select the graphical install just wait for the booting it will mount and unmount all the data whatever it is then select your language and select your country and key map to use that is American English perfect after this this will load the installer component from the installation media and it will detect the network hardware and configure the network Now you have to enter the host name for the system that is whatever your name or whatever you can name it I will name it as Kali Linux that's it okay sorry I can't do that I will host name it as the PT or Kali will be okay man next Kali domain name leave it as blank okay now we have to create a user new username so I will put it as a username that will be uh, text will be okay text okay username for the account and click continue 
after that we have to put the password whatever the password you will put you will need to put after the after this completion of the process click next continue and then select the time zone I will select Eastern now it will detect the disk and uh, load the data now if you are installing the Kalinux uh, like uh, on the main hard disk of your computer or you are going to do a dual boot then you have to select manual and depending upon the hard disk uh, partitions you need to do th something like swap and uh, other other this partition for the root okay for but for now we are using vmware so we don't need to do that we will use the guided use entire disk select the disk this one is our disk okay and all files in one partition that is recommended for the new user so i will go with this and finish the partition and write changes to the disk now select S yes, write the changes to the disk yes continue now it will take some time you can buy a coffee or whatever you do task look guys we can install this on VMware uh, virtual box on virtual box also you just need to download the virtual box and uh, do the same procedure like customizing the okay guys now it's completed the procedure so after this click uh, use a network mirror click no and click continue now it will configure the package manager and install the grub bootloader so we will click s yes, continue and select the device that is dev sda this is the location of the our disk click continue and it will finalizing the installation And now installation is complete guys and click continue After this the system will automatically reboot and here we got the option to select Kali Linux JNU slash Linux now enter that and here we go guys we have successfully installed the Kali Linux 2020.1.b so now we have to put the username that is we have already okay and password that's it for now guys we have successfully installed the VMware we are uh, sorry Kali Linux on VMware please subscribe my channel and support me thank you guys